My next guests are at the top of their game and true thought leaders in functional medicine. I'm so excited to have Dr. Wayne Greathouse and Dr. Candace Hall here today. Welcome guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's really fun to have you here. I have heard so much and Candace is a personal friend of mine and I've been trying to get her on here for over a year. <laughs> and she finally was able to make time in her schedule. And so thank you so much for making the time. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, so you guys are um, with Next Advanced Medicine. We are. So tell me a little bit more about Next Advanced Medicine. Well, our office is in Orange County. We're okay. a functional medicine clinic. We specialize in reversing chronic degenerative diseases like diabetes, autoimmune disease, mm -hmm. and cognitive decline. Mm -hmm. Many people are unaware that these diseases can be reversed. It's very common for them to be put on one medication after another yeah as the disease progresses absolutely in fact i would not think that cognitive decline would be something that could actually be reversed but you're saying it is possible yes so as a matter of fact um you we just have to detect it early mm -hmm. we have to detect uh -huh. it early uh, i think the better way to kind of describe functional medicine if we start with diabetes most people think that that's caused by weight gain, right? Uh -huh. They've been told for years it's caused by oh, weight gain. That's right. Yeah, most of us know somebody who's 300, 400 pounds and they're not diabetic. Yeah. And we know bone skinny diabetics that couldn't gain a pound to save their life. Mm -hmm. Certainly weight gain is not the cause of their disease. That's right. We know that air pollution can cause diabetes. We know that certain toxins, um, subclinical infections, infections that they may not have mm -hmm. symptoms to, they might carry genetics that don't allow them to detoxify certain substances. Mm -hmm. Many reasons cause diabetes. So in a functional medicine model, what we do is we test them very mm -hmm. deeply, mm -hmm. probably more than they've ever been tested in their life. And we get the results of those tests, we can detect why they can't regulate their blood sugar. And that allows us to then customize a treatment plan mm -hmm. specific to that individual and the outcomes are superb. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with cognitive decline. As long as early detection occurs, then we can get some pretty superb results. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's so exciting to, it makes me feel so much hope that there are answers to some of these problems and people just feel completely hopeless, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So um, how did you guys get into functional medicine and why do you feel that functional rather than traditional medicine works better in some cases? Or maybe in all cases? Well, for me personally, um, I got pretty ill early on. Mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with a few autoimmune diseases myself and going down the traditional route was not really working for me. I was mm -hmm. just kind of getting sicker and sicker. I'm being put on more and more medication. So at that time, functional medicine was rather new and I dug in with everything that I had and it really got down to testing and finding out what was going wrong inside the body. And mm -hmm. it, for me, it saved my life. Mm -hmm. I think many of us who've gotten into functional medicine, including Dr. Greathouse here, mm -hmm. have gotten into it because we had our own personal health problems. Mm -hmm. and. Absolutely. It's a way out, mm -hmm. it's a way out. Well, it's really neat to be able to, to have a doctor who not only cares, but has also been through it and understands some of the challenges. Like I have several relatives with chronic issues that I'm you know, going to refer to you guys because nobody can fix what's going on, right? right? We have been on both sides of the desk, both That's doctor right. and patient, That's and we right. understand what a patient goes through. So how does functional medicine, just from, from those of us who are kind of newbies to the whole field, how does it differ from traditional medicine? Functional medicine, we're going to the root cause of the disease. We keep testing and testing to understand why that patient became sick. And that's so important to understand the root of that patient's disease so we can again customize treatment from there mm. and have an outcome, as Dr. Hall had said, is just superb. So you're saying in a lot of cases, traditional medicine will treat the symptoms and you guys actually dive deeper and go a level deeper and treat kind of the cause. Yes, and also it's not that medication is not important, but it was very common to just manage diseases with medication. I you know, see. years mm -hmm. ago, penicillin, silver bullet, right? You mm -hmm. gave it and people were better because they were dying of, they were dying of infectious diseases back right. then. Mm -hmm. But the diseases of today, cancer, diabetes, cognitive decline, heart mm -hmm. disease, these, is, these are diseases of lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. These are diseases that include your diet, uh, things that you're exposed to in the environment, mm -hmm. and dealing with this one pill approach 
people aren't getting better. You, mm -hmm. you, if you're a diabetic and I say, I'm gonna give you this pill and I want you to take this for six months, you, you, then you're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Well, we wouldn't need to be in functional medicine. Yeah. Right. Right. Same we thing with cognitive here. decline. Right. With cognitive decline, there's, there's no medication. There's not a single medication that is showing any results. Mm -hmm. So having that particular disease can be very scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, especially because you know, like I actually have a really close family member who's going through it right now. Mm -hmm. And we went to a funeral and he said something really inappropriate. And so I was like, hey, mm -hmm. let's go for a walk, you know? And he, he like looked at me and he goes, did I just say something really bad? Oh. And, and I was like, yeah, that's okay, we love you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine. Right. But, it, but that part is really hard to see just as, as, a, as a loved one, right? Where you see them and, and they are, you know, they're, they're declining and they know, you know, that's what's so hard, and, uh, just right. from, a, from a family perspective. You know? Sure, and I think we should all be uh, concerned about this disease. It is on mm -hmm. the rise. Mm -hmm. If you're over 65, there's three out of 10 patients will have cognitive decline, mm -hmm. and one out of 10 will get diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Mm. But to understand it, I think we should understand the disease a little bit. Mm -hmm. A normal, healthy brain will downsize or lose a little bit of size as we age, mm -hmm. but the cognitive decline Alzheimer brain has an abnormal loss of size. That's really interesting. And it's that abnormal loss of size that causes the memory loss. You'll be in the middle of a conversation, you'll lose a word. Mm -hmm. You might walk into a room and you don't even know why you're there. Mm -hmm. That's the cognitive decline from the brain. That's really interesting. So um, I wish that we could ha like be come back every month and we'll just talk more and more about this. But um, for right now, I want to talk about what we have in front of us because I'm hungry and it looks delicious. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about now this bar that you have developed is kind of an outgrowth of some of the uh, things that you were seeing in your practice. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So tell me a little bit more. So okay. So uh, many of our viewers. patients. <laughs> Many of our patients, so when you're dealing with a patient who's ill, right, mm -hmm. and you're looking at all aspects of the case, we also have to test them to see what they can eat. Mm -hmm. Many of the things that they eat, uh, the immune system can actually dislike. And so that person would be put on a, a diet based on specific testing for them. Mm -hmm. So when it gets a little difficult, what do I eat, what do I not eat, they would come in with these bars. Mm -hmm. I have not seen a single bar that I would recommend to a patient. So it took me about two years, but I, I worked on a bar Mm -hmm. for my patients and this is it it is all Can organic I yeah of do you course. want to try some yeah. okay good I made, i'm starving uh, <laughs> i haven't eaten anything today we made we made three flavors uh, it's 100 okay. percent organic it's okay. vegan it's gluten-free it's um non-gmo so it will it's every bar is less than four grams of sugar and there are no sugar alcohols in it so it is a very safe bar to eat it's actually nutritious mm -hmm. and it's something safe that our patients can eat without causing a problem mm. and most important mm, it tastes mm. good <laughs> it's really good so we made salted caramel chocolate mm -hmm. coconut and cherry vanilla and I have no, this is a really delicious bar and it's super surprising there's only four grams of I know it's good that great? How, how is that even possible I'll just I know a how to. Bit, a lot of yeah, homework. <laughs> mm. When you're trying to keep kids healthy in this environment and your patients, you got to get creative. But mm. it is literally all natural. That's what we came up with. Nature all stands for natural, true, and real. So mm. that's what I tried to make. Natural, true, and real, and delicious. I would like to change your name to Natrue Wall Yummy. <laughs> 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 it's really good. Uh, well, so how can people find either the bar or your practice? How can people reach out to you? Probably the best thing, uh, if someone's having symptoms, we have a busy practice, so mm -hmm. some people just want to like, just people just kind of curious want to come in and say, mm -hmm. hey, can you look at me? And mm -hmm. we're really dealing with sicker patients that. Mm -hmm. So if someone had symptoms like they were getting some memory loss or they had diabetes or something like that, mm -hmm. then they can call into the clinic. Okay. Uh, our number is 949-786-5050. Okay. Okay. And um, we can get them scheduled for a free informational seminar so they can learn more about that particular problem, mm -hmm. um, that's probably the best way to okay. get it. Or they can go to our website, nextadvancedmedicine.com. Okay, awesome. Nextadvancedmedicine.com, and then how do we get how do we get these bars? So nextadvancedmedicine.com has a website, and you just go to under products, and mm -hmm. then it says bar. Okay, great. And then I'll look forward to seeing these in uh, Albertsons and uh, Ralph's very soon as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> yes, of course. And, and Nature All has its own website, obviously. Okay, Nature Nature All All products .com. Products .com. And LoisSugar.com is another LoisSugar one. LoisSugger.com, <laughs> I easy. like. That one is that easy. easy. Okay, yeah. LoisSugar.com, everyone, go there. 
So this is wonderful. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us for today. Us. And and I look forward to hopefully having you back on and we can talk about diabetes and we talk about more about cognitive decline, what we can do to really improve our health. That'd be great. That'd be great. All right. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. We'll be right back.